Art can be very helpful on the reconciliation journey because it helps to make visual connections to deeper meaning. When we have two different worlds trying to understand, translate and get to know each other, often we need bridges and art has an amazing ability to cross between different groups. When we have Aboriginal art, for instance, on the beautiful walls of organisations like here, or in documentation, it's a signal to our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people first, and to everybody else second, that they're welcome here, they're safe here, they're understood here and they're heard here. It's very powerful and yet there's a deep accountability when you put Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander messaging up around your spaces. But I know the APC means what they mean and there's no mistake that they wanted deep messaging to be on their walls and it's been a privilege to create story for them. My name is Safina Stewart and I'm a proud Mabiog Island and Wutiti country woman. From my mother's side, I am Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. And from my father's side, I am Scottish English. I live on the Bass Coast in Victoria on Bunurong country. And I'm a proud artist and creative person. I have a gift of storytelling, which is such an amazing opportunity to make connections, build relationships and bring people together. And I'm the artist who is commissioned to create the two beautiful pieces called holding true for the Australian Physiotherapy Council. I was contacted and invited to come and have a conversation with them in their beautiful offices in Richmond. They'd been doing a lot of long years in building on their reconciliation journey and yet they wanted someone who could tell the story of that journey as well as cast vision into the future of the continuing journey and so I took up the invitation, met their wonderful team, saw their generous and hospitable village, and also their deep desire for community health to be holistic. These two artworks are paired together. They tell different angles and elements of the bigger story that I wanted to convey. The first piece has four mountains in it, these beautiful sacred sites in the landscape. And from the values that the APC had, those four deep values, they really struck me as foundational to the work of the whole organisation. And so I wanted to represent those values in the four mountains. In this first painting, there are some beautiful purple circles and I wanted to represent all of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who have been a part of advising the APC in good cultural practice, understanding and learning. Each of those individuals have come with incredible expertise, amazing community connection, incredible life experience and knowledge. There's also a beautiful river that runs all the way through this painting. It represents the journey of reconciliation, that it is a healing process and that it is a journey with ups and downs. It's not linear at all. There are complexities, there's difficulties, but it is a good journey that ultimately brings healing for everybody. In the other painting, we have five beautiful yellow circles that you can see that is bordered by that gorgeous purple pathway. Those five yellow circles are to represent the amazing five initiatives that are a part of the reconciliation framework that the APC is developing. Each one significant and each one a very important element of their work in their journey of reconciliation. Across both of the paintings, there is this beautiful dark black area with grey imprints and motifs all the way across. In those areas, you will see highlights of the richness of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultural practice, our ways of knowing and our ways of doing. We share many different heritages, cultural experiences here in this beautiful multicultural land that we call Australia. But do we know 
the deep, lingering, continuing sacred story of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander connection to this land. Within the context of Australia today, lots of people do not know their story and they do not know the story of the lands that they are on. And yet what I've noticed is that people understand story. They understand courage, vulnerability, suffering, and aspiring to do bigger and greater. We're all enriched if we dig down into those deep stories. So I keep encouraging people to learn their local and to build good relationships with their Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and the place and space where they find themselves living. When we are given a responsibility or a role, it's both our challenge and our delight. Because in my role of being a storyteller and an artist, I need to display and show beauty, but I also need to bring out truth. So much so that people are inspired to continue on in a right way. So it's been my privilege to take on this commission. It's been my joy to create story. These paintings, they're entitled Holding True, because I would very much appreciate if the Australian Physiotherapy Council remained true to their deep values and their deep intentions to do relationship well for the benefit of all Australians, all community and everyone who gets impacted by good health care through this place.